basically, it uh, was invented by uh, John Breen, a wonderful programmer from Indiana. And you play this game, and if you get the correct uh, word, the, then 20 grains of rice are being donated to the World Food Program. Uh, the money is coming from advertisers, and we then go, as you see here in Bangladesh, we buy rice and uh, give it to people in need, uh, mothers, children, school feeding. And it's a wonderful game because um, people often think they cannot help, but th through this website you can help. You learn your vocabulary at the same time you can do something good. And we're buying the lo uh, rice locally, so we also help uh, uh, the local farmers in these Meaning communities. You're, you're buying it from countries like Bangladesh. In Bangladesh, need. exactly, in Uganda. Uh, and uh, in Cambodia, because we not only want to help hungry people there, but also at the same time strengthen the local economies. Yeah, it's a good idea all the way, and people are building on their vocabulary <laughs> at the <Yes>. same time. <laughs> I, I wanted to ask you about other donations that you mm -hmm. have received from big star names yeah, like yeah. Uh, George Clooney. Yes, it was wonderful. This week uh, we had appealed for funding for our aid operations in um, Darfur, our helicopter fleet there, because we hadn't received any donations so far this year. And George Clooney, Brad Pitt, Matt Damon, Don Cheadle, and they're not on our watch foundation, immediately stepped forward, gave us half a million dollars. So it's great. Uh, other governments uh, will be following suit shortly, I'm sure, but the Hollywood guys were the quickest. <laughs> Leading the way. <laughs> what about Drew Barrymore? She made a huge donation yes, too. Yes, she did. And it's, it's really wonderful because it shows you that, you know, people like John Breen and, and the Free Rise uh, is the one side of the people who are helping us, but also the VIPs, the celebrities. It's so important because they shine uh, a light on this huge problem of world hunger. Drew Barrymore is our ambassador against hunger. She just gave us a million dollars on the Oprah show and was asking for donations because, you know, people always think they cannot help. And it shows you, I brought you this little red yeah, cup I was here. Wondering what this is, the, we use these red cups uh, to, to give food to children. Mm -hmm. And so we use it really as a symbol. And as you can see in the video with, uh, with Drew, that's uh, how we uh, deliver the food. And it costs very, very little. What do you guess? How much does it take to feed a child for a day? I don't know. Y 25 cents a day. Really? So that's less than $5 a month. So you can go to our website, wfp.org, and for some $50 a year, you will totally change the life of a child. And the red cup is, is really our symbol because we can do so much more. World hunger is a huge and important issue. Um, we think this year we need $3.4 billion alone as, as the World Food Program to feed some you know, 73 million people or so. And as you mentioned, with the high wheat and rice prices, the price has gone up so much an extra half a billion dollars just because of the price rises. Back to, uh, to the rice game, mm -hmm. how many children ha have you been able to, and people have you been able to feed with that program? Yeah, it's, uh, we're reaching out, we have uh, eight operations in four countries now, over 100,000 people uh, will get food for sometimes a week or two months, so it really has an impact. You know, we started out in, in early October with 800 grains of rice donated through this game, and uh, so many people have clicked on this game that we're over 20 billion grains of rice. If you translate that into food, yeah, it would yeah. be like enough for a million for one day. Just through the click of what a... What an amazing idea. It is. And tell us a little bit about the, the person who came up with yeah, that idea. Yeah, and it's, he's a wonderful man from Indiana, John Breen, who just wanted to help his uh, 13 and 15 year old kids Im improve their vocabulary and getting ready for the SAT scores. <laughs> and I think one of his sons wasn't, wasn't so eager. So he came up with this wonderful idea of the game and he contacted us basically send an email and we love the idea and it's the total internet phenomenon we have like 500 face groups playing this um, the, we have students in china who are learning english that way it's a global phenomenon it's unbelievable